I am, who I believe myself to be, is not underpinned by any one belief. Therefore, I can drop any belief at the drop of a hat and move in a new direction. Have you you have anchored yourself have you to this scholarship of, 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 of history. history. You may not have a degree, but you're applying the same standards. You might say, yeah. what? Look at this. Okay, this is going to affect heard. this, and this is going to affect that. So you're taking a critical approach. You don't necessarily need to have a degree to do that, but a degree tries to teach you how well, to do that. So someone says, well, look, I've got a writing from 2,000 years ago that said that he can jump from tree to tree. And yeah, and someone in France says, yeah, they heard about a guy that can write. Yeah, I heard, and, and in 1999, someone found a plaque of the guy that was okay. in, in, the, in the park watching someone jump from tree to tree. That's not evidence, bro. The very earth you are standing on, okay. you can't tell me what it's made of. Am so, I right or so, wrong? So if I said the ma earth is made of cheese? That's it. I, bring your cheese, I, 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 cheese in it. That's it. He's now he's asking for cheese, evidence. Yeah. I don't know the person's name, but you can research it. But saying that, actually, the war wasn't a foregone conclusion. So it showed like the Egyptians actually kind of manipulated. For me to accept that, yeah, I would have, I would have to even trust the archaeologists. Okay, but you understand? Let, 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 do you agree? But let me do you agree that some evidence can be fake? Yeah, of yeah. course. But yeah. you, you believe that evidence can be uh, uh, misrepresented? Yes, yeah. of course. Yeah. But let me just explain and, and the theory. Can be contaminated. Yeah, but let so me then, just, let me for me. Because you're going to break down the, the scholarship of... Yeah, yeah, of, and, 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 and one second, but, but all I'm saying to you is okay. that's all well and dandy. Yeah, yeah. There's too many holes in it for me to concretely okay. sit on it and okay. say this is what I believe to be yeah. true. So this is this this to me seems to be the pattern that okay. we keep following. Okay. Yeah. If more intelligent men than me have said it, so therefore I must believe it. Okay. okay. And I don't work. You don't work like that for me. So let me just go back to the. Let me just. You're a legend, bro. Let me just go back to the theory. You know it's like you know it's Let me just go back to the theory. Theory embarrassment. He's a legend. So in terms of the theory theory of embarrassment is like you don't write things that go against yourself because obviously the early Christians for example would preach that Jesus was crucified now in the early first century like Christians are called pagans or sorry not pagans atheists because uh, during, during the early Roman times like they had physical gods like you, you know like Jupiter Zeus and whatnot so they're, they're called atheists gods. because they believe in a god that you couldn't see so okay, the, okay. The, the term atheist has now changed okay. so in terms of people saying my god came to earth and he died you wouldn't do that you'd normally have a, if you're trying to profess a faith but they didn't create they didn't, they yeah, didn't create, yeah, but what, they didn't create that yeah, notion they, in the first place because this is, this, no, no, like no, no, i said no, this no, is no. the academic that's standard even, that's not even how christianity um, no, no, but came to the set of beliefs that it has now anyway no, no, what, what i'm saying they preach the gospels of yeah. in terms of that jesus was died and he was crucified yeah. and they believed that he was god so if, not every not all christians believe that and which, not all christians which that. which christians didn't yeah, not all christians believe that that jesus killed the early the early we're talking about that in the first century not later on if you're going to critique the Christian faith, you've got to have a methodology. You've got to enter scholarship. Why do you I? You can't just do, do this. I? Why do I? Come as so Jedi. Does that close the door? So if I can't come with my no, free mind, no, my free to, thinking self. Come with standards. Oh, I've got to go, go through. You've this, got to come with academic standards. This is where, this is, this is where, this is where you meet the gatekeepers. No, 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 no. This is where you meet the gatekeepers. No, no. You can have a unique approach. This is where you meet the gatekeepers. Yeah, but that is a very subjective approach. It has no standards to it. It can never make sense to him. You know what I'm saying? My standard. No. But you My standard is, is does it make it sense up. to me? No, your yeah, standard. One second. Yes, yes. But, okay. My standard is, does it make sense to me? Your stand, your standard is, do they say it's allowed? No, 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 no. Of course it is. No, 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 no. You said I've got to go through certain things. It doesn't matter. But you're not establishing truth. What's two and two? History is not true. What's two and two? History is not true. History is not true. What's two and two? History is not true. What's two and two? I'm sorry, from beginning to end. What's two and two? So do, you, do you understand no, the difference what's between what's history and truth? What's two and two? Do you understand the difference between history and truth? Are you that lost down what's the rabbit hole? But, but your, your, your it truth is subjective. What you believe, you, what makes is history you. subjective? It's history. It can be. That's why you have... It's subjective. Yeah. Oh, right. It can be. That's why, you have, that. that's why I told you the four yeah, academic yeah, standards up, of historicity. I follow you. I follow you, man. I'm a subscriber, man. You're a good guy, man. If you're playing football, you can't turn up as Jedi and there's the way of the play and you say, oh! 
uh, I don't want to play like that. You got to play what, the game. What if I, what if I, what if I come on the pitch with my own style and bang in eight no, goals? No, yeah. <laughs> you you got to play. You got to play yeah. by the rules. Yeah, but, 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 you got to play by the yeah, rules. Yeah, but this is the thing. There's no rules for reality. There's no rules for my. Listen, the way I process reality and what I believe to be true, none of you guys. Alright, I beg you listen. Listen, none of you guys can tell me what the rules on reality are. You're standing on the shoulders of guys you assume to be more intelligent and more uh, 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 more uh, studious than you. I don't. I investigate for myself, and if it makes sense for me, then I can work with it. Yeah. That what that that way, my in, my my identity, who I am, who I believe myself to be, is not underpinned by any one belief. Therefore, I can drop any belief at the drop of a hat and move in a new direction. Have you you have anchored yourself have to you this scholarship of, 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 of history. No, have I don't need one. I've got 360. Have you got a degree? 360 have you got a degree? What do you think? Brother, you're not listening to me. Yeah, but that's 300 that, and that, that's a... I beg my listen. Can I ask? Have you got this a degree? You hear me? No, I've got 360 degrees. No, no, no. If you, no, no, no. If you take a scholarship and approach, it doesn't mean you have to... He's not listening. No, no, no. What the mistake you're making is no, you're like assuming you, you have to take what people say as a whole. I've got 360 degrees. What is a scholarship it, approach means you... You mean what? You mean what? You mean yeah? What did you say his name was Jafitas, yeah? You look at the information... Yeah? Did you say Jafitas, yeah? How do you establish that your own truth is the right criteria? How many degrees is Jafitas? Because different people have different levels of intelligence. How many degrees is Jafitas? Do you, do you, okay, do you agree different huh? people have different intelligence? We don't need one. So then why, does I, why do I need one? So how do you... Okay. you how you're do you're going back to a guy that don't have a degree and ask me how many degrees are... superior to another one. one. If you understand? If you what, let me give you an example. You need to look back on what? We are all trying to talk to our Exactly. Our exactly. exactly. Hey, that's that's, that's hey. taking a scholarship I approach. Yeah, take a critical... Okay, that's fine, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Right? The measure of intelligence in this in this society yeah. is not one that's compatible with our brains. Yeah, okay. we think right, the, the the stand of intelligence in this country is a linear, step by step, pattern recognition, recall type okay. thing. Yeah, that's that's the IQ test. Yeah, yeah? the way we think yeah. is here, 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 here. Something else comes in, brings it all together, new idea. Okay. Okay. Fresh. If you if you try and judge um, the intelligence of a, a, a fish by the ability to climb a tree, then it will go for its life and give you stupid. Yep. Okay. That's where we are. Right. But a, I mean, a degree says you've been indoctrinated out of out of this creative thought. Into no, a no, linear no, step by step. You got, you got degrees, degree. right? You got degrees, yeah, right? That's why you're. And no, this, no, no, this is the thing. Is Remember what I said. Listen, One second, let me just say something. Okay. Remember what I said, yeah? When you underpin your okay. identity with some of these notions, okay. that's when you become weighed down with it. Okay. So now you are not going to be able to separate yourself from okay. this degree and that school of thought. Okay. That's what it did to you. No. 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 And the reason why it did I can you. tell you, people who have not. I'm, I'm not trying to do any digs because if you have You're a degree one point bro you will know With a degree, degree doesn't a degree awesome. when you do a degree it's not about a wrong or you right answer awesome. it's how well you can structure your criticism right. of the subject matter so you can have someone that says yes someone that says no but a degree teaches you how to critically anal analyze, analyze and verify oh, your this opinion this is you understand? The so, so it's not about uh, I took it's a job. not about yeah i took a I'm, job in bt yeah? okay bt um laboratories in mark Chimay, okay, okay. I was the only person yeah. who did not have a degree out of 8,000 people there. Okay. Yeah? I, after about a month, yeah. they were coming to me okay. because they couldn't think outside of their training. Yeah, I understand okay. what you're saying. Their mind has I been what you're saying. You, you agree with it then? You understand, you agree. Can I say something? Can I say something? Can I say something? But, but what? But that's, that's right. going if beside the point. And there you go, back to it. See? That's it. See that moment there? That's it. You draw him back to your comfort blanket. He's talking about he's got experience, right? So he's saying, for example, if you come out of the, let's say you just come out of a university with a three-year degree, his three-year degree may not match up with your experience in terms of applying something to something. It's but not about but let, me, let, me, let me give you an example. Have if you, you got a degree if, in history if, by any chance? If you have a, if, if you, have you got a degree in history? Let me just, let me uh, let answer up, him. Up. I know what you're trying to say. So you if, can't do that you, at the same time. You, you can't you, talk and give if, me a signal if, at the same if, time. If, if, okay. if you have a problem at work, right? 
and they say, how do we resolve this? You're going to have to give them an explanation and a critically evaluate. So, so you, may, you may not have a degree, but you're applying the same standard. So you might say, what? look at this. This is going to affect this, and this is going to affect that. So you're taking a critical approach. You don't necessarily need to have a degree to do that, but a degree tries to teach you how to do that. So that's, yes. Is that degree yes. limited those people from finding yeah, standards? Okay. Well, you agree with it though? You keep saying you understand. But then, but then, the reason why it's a bit of a subject matter because I could say, well, there might be people with degrees who could make you look like this big. You understand? It's like conjecture. I don't know the people who's got a degree. Yeah, yeah, where where because it's subjective. If we look at this world in terms of technology or like He's got politics a degree or whatever, He's talking. we look, we look at certain people. So you're looking at a very narrow field, yes. okay, okay. and a very uh, one yes. way, one yes. particular no, way of looking yeah, at it. Yeah, but what I'm saying that. is, in terms of establishing something, you have to take a critical analysis approach to it. You don't necessarily need a degree to to learn those standards, but this is what a degree will teach you. You understand? But that's what I'm saying. His his opinion was subjective. I'm saying, what are you basing your criteria Everything on? Everything you said is subjective. No, because you Everything said you, you said I, it, it doesn't make sense well, to me. Where, but where, the, where the Bible comes in? Yes. Okay. Right. One of the first things that came to me was was finding out the language that the Old Testament was written. Yeah. Paleo Hebrew. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When you find out how that that language works, I've got to go. there's only one way yeah. that those are in and me. Listen, do you not care what he says? Do you just want to talk? But no you should listen to him. No, um, there's no metaphor. How did you get a degree no, if you didn't listen? Listen, listen, yeah. listen yeah. Because you know, a word is concrete, it can only mean one thing. Okay. okay. So when you take the, the Old Testament from that perspective, yeah. it can only mean one thing. Okay. That all these um, prophecies of Jesus yeah. don't exist. They don't exist. None in of the them Old do. Testament. In the Old Testament. Are you sure about not that? Not a one. You, you want me not to show one. you some? That's a, that's a different subject. You want me to show you some? Well, well language. Choose, choose, choose one. That's a different okay. subject about language. Well, that, let's, let's, because I, um, obviously I don't have my, I don't have my Bible yet, so I can't. Okay. So, let's look at, uh, say, the virgin birth, yeah? Okay. Isaiah 7, 14. Can you ask me, answer me one question about that? Yes. Okay. I don't want me to talk. I'm going to go with you. I don't want me to talk. I have a degree in it. I have a degree in it. You should let me talk. You're being silly. You look. You should listen you should as well. Talk. No one's stopping yeah, you from talking. Yeah, You're being silly, man. Don't yeah, be crazy. He'll make his point, then you make your yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, make your point, man. Then just make his point. Okay. It says in Isaiah 7, 14, um, a, a virgin should give birth to uh, yeah, yeah. have a son. Yeah, yeah. We call it Emmanuel. Okay. Yeah. So, if that's a prophecy, okay. and the Most High commanded that his name should be Emmanuel, okay. why is his name Emmanuel? Because you have to understand. No, I don't have to understand. The Most High. Can I, can no, I no, 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 wait, wait. The Most High commanded, right, he made a prophecy. Okay? Thank you. He made a prophecy. Okay? The Most High is not liar. If he says something, it comes to pass. Yes. Why was he called Emmanuel? Why was he called Jesus? Okay, because when you read the Bible, I did read it. you will know. Notice, for example, why Adam? No, no, what, why? Adam was called Adam because of God said, because I have taken you from the earth. No, no but, come on, let me let me explain. Because in the Bible, it's the names aren't supposed to be taken literally. It's the in the Bible characteristic characteristics give rise to the name, not the name gives rise to the characteristic. For example, they were named for let, the let, let me give you an example. When um, um, when when Jacob wrestled with um the, with God, what, with God, what did he say? He said, because you're going to tend with God, your name is going to be called Israel. When Abraham, let me finish. Let me finish. Let, let me let me let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. When Abraham's name was changed from Abraham to Abraham, he said, because you're going to be a father of the generations, your name will be Abraham. And Saul so turned to Paul. So, we get it. No, no, no. But, but listen to what when I'm was saying. Jesus Emmanuel? So if I if I if I went to um, Abraham and I said, yo, so listen, listen. If I said, went to Abraham and I said, when father of a generation, he will know the meaning of his name. When was the so renaming? when they say uh, Emmanuel, it means God is with us. When because God doesn't renaming? care about the specific name. Was he ever named? Was he ever named? No, no, it's when about the character. Got, all right, one second. Did God say that he was gonna, he's going to be? Lim listen. Yes. Did God say the child would be named Emmanuel? It says he yes, will be named Emmanuel. Yes. Okay. And was the child named Emmanuel? 
and now uh, what's the child? No, no. The child was yes, not. No, no. Because this is the thing. Thank we, you. If you're, if, I love that. No, no, no. <laughs> but this is the thing. No, but you see. Yes. If, I catch up with you. Go, Jason. Go. go for it, no, man. But but you see, guys, they don't want to hear the point. But ultimately, that's a very simple point to be addressed. In terms of the Bible, we always see a characteristic gives rise to the name itself, not the name gives rise to the characteristic. That's why, for example, when anyone's named by God, he tells them the characteristic and say, this is why I'm going to call you this. So when God says he shall be called Emmanuel, first century knew, sorry, first century Jews, for example, knew there was a deeper context behind that. So even though he wasn't physically, literally called Emmanuel, because it said God is with us, there's a deeper context behind what Jesus was saying. So Jesus, in, if we look in the Bible, God always says, you know, there's things concealed that are later revealed. And that's what first century Jews would have been, a, been aware of. Yeah, because of this, yeah. Can, can I just say something some people, can I have some black people saying that Jesus is black? Wait, what's my opinion on that? Yeah, go on. No. They said that because in the in the book of Revelation he speaks about his hair being yes. you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, According to you, you think he's black. Well, in terms of the revelation, that's more of a it's not a physical description of him. It's more I think revelation is very um, what's the word? That is very it's like a vision. So it's very symbolic. Right. There's a lot of symbology in it. So right. because it also says uh, Jesus has uh, a tongue um, of a sword coming out of his mouth. We know that's not a literal characterization. So in terms of Jesus being black, I know he was very dark skinned, but if he was like me, I couldn't say he was like me, but he would have been a very dark skinned person. But not black black. Well, no, I would Because they say that. Yes. Well, because if you yes. speak to Hebrew Israelites, they'll say, Jesus, but, like, who, or did you? but the Hebrews Israelites are black? Yes. Who are they? Well, I mean, you'd you would have to... Can I just say one, one thing? Yes. Yeah, finish off. I just want to finish, finish off. We're talking about... Talking about historical Jesus studies. And basically, Jedi was just saying he doesn't believe Jesus existed. And what, what Paperboy was saying and what we we're trying to get across is the certain basic academic standards. And you have to have these first standards. And if you don't have these first standards, you can't find the truth. That's all we were saying. Simple, simple. He has a degree to know that Jesus exists. That's yeah. what he speaks about. Yeah. That's because he's a very respected Roman yeah. historian. Yeah. How can you argue with that? I know, Jedi, Jedi's yeah. argument is just that, oh, you know, yeah. there's it's, no it's, physical it's very, evidence. It's very subjective. Well, what kind yeah. of evidence do you need? For, for example, the thing, Jedi standard is like, for example, if you have a cake baker yeah. and this person will be like, I make the best cakes. Everyone else will say, I make the best cakes. It's very subjective. Unless you get independent people to go and test each one and say, actually, that one's the best cake. But so everyone's going to think their cake, their, their cake is the best cake. And there's no standard. It's very subjective. And that's why you have kind of an academic standard so people don't fall into the, the fallacy of believing their own hype, you know, which is what Jedi is doing. Because it doesn't make sense to him, it can't be true. But there's probably a lot of things in this world yeah. that don't make sense to him. Yeah, for example, when I, was a, when I was a baby, how babies were born didn't make sense to me. And I was four years old, but now it does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of a, it's a, it's a weird standard. It's a weird standard. Yeah. But, yeah, you've got, you've got to be willing and open to the yeah. evidence. Exactly. Yeah. It's not willing. Yeah. It's, not, it's not open. I didn't get the fact that, did you know when you were born? I'm yeah. like, what are you going to do that for? I agree with you. You cannot be absolutely certain about anything. I can't be absolutely certain I was born yeah. in 1983. Yeah. But the evidence that we have, like my birth certificate, yeah. the contemporary evidence I have through photographs, I can make a decision, a reasonable decision, I was born on that day. Yeah. But I can't be absolutely certain. Yeah, yeah. It, There has so, to be an element of faith. So we, ha we have basic facts yeah. about Jesus. Yes, yes. And, and they're incontrovertible. Yeah. And the academic world generally accepts them, yeah. that Jesus died. Yes. That's a fact in history. Yes. Yeah. To argue against that, yeah. you've got to lie, then uh, you can't believe anything at all. You can't, you can't you know really what? trust anything. Uh, because because why you're so angry all the time. Well. How do you prove that? Did you believe Caesar exists? How do you prove that Alexander will leave? Ah, cowards. Um, have your little jokes go on this one when I leave. Right. And this one wants to know why I don't want to chat to him. I'll talk to him. Carry on, carry on. Enjoy your little, little party. Let's talk, man. What's the problem? Go on this me in, in, in my absence. Go on this mic. I'm not dissing you. Go on this me in, in my absence. Right. Have your little jokes. Did I diss him? Did I say anything about me? You feel so offended because I don't 
don't want to accept what you studied and took a degree in. History. I don't want to accept that. I'm saying there's other ways to think. You don't see that. I'm not offended. The, 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 I'm not they, even a Christian. They've come and told you that's linear thinking. You don't see it. You're not thinking outside of the box. That's fine. But you're always going to think within the par parameters, the science that you was taught. Standard. So where's your free thought then? But, but if you have to think in certain parameters, you can't even escape those parameters now. You won't allow yourself to. I just gave you a good example of not even that, like, bruv. You're standing on the words of what somebody else has told you is reality. But End the, of. But the problem with what End you're of. saying is it's like, you can get 10 people, yeah. they have 10 different Why opinions. Why is that a problem? How do you then establish a good yourself, standard of truth? Self-determination is cool. That's fine. You, if, if, you need to well, if, if you want to start, no, 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 answer your question. Yeah, but no, 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 no one is saying you can't have a subjective opinion. But then you can't, because you're, it's subjective to you, but if, if everyone else takes a, uh, you can't speak a, for everyone an else. academic standard and approach to something, you can't say, oh, you're following linear thinking. That's full, that's full slavery. Okay, by saying everyone else. Your... Listen to what I'm saying. So I'm saying. Don't say everyone else. Say you. Now, one, 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 okay. Okay. In terms else. of no, no. In terms of most people, no, you can't you take an academic people. approach. You okay. can't say that they're taking a linear approach because they're Why academic can't I say it? Why can't I say it? academic standards will teach you to scrutinize what you don't have to agree with the information but it says you can have I to not just scrutinize can I not scrutinize information without your academic okay. way of doing it there's more than that way to deal with information and so therefore that? that doesn't make you more right or okay. make me wrong because I don't want to go through your avenue but of how to um, process information because I have my own that I have refined over years of living but then how do you establish that truth For you example, don't establish truth none of you look if you're going to tell me that Jesus has been established as fact okay half these religions on the planet wouldn't exist okay that's, yeah? no 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 that's two different things but that's the, what the Jesus is saying the, no, no, the crucifixion has been established as a fact whether he was God that hasn't been hasn't that's been, something different you understand because that's because that's every, no, no, you believe it. No, 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 no. Anyone can even go on Google right now and say, is Jesus a real person? They'll say, every scholar, every, like any academic person will say Jesus existing is a fact. Any academic you understand? Is that, so is there any academic people that will because say, I can ask a, I can ask a homeless brother, man. They'll brother, say, no. What, brother, what is that value brother. of that homeless person? That's why I'm saying an no, academic you. approach. Is you there understand? any ac academic people that will say that um, Jesus didn't exist? You might get a fringe minority. But you said any. A I think minority. you might. I'm not not that I'm aware of, right. but you might. Let me see. Have you have you heard of breakthrough sciences? Go on. Yeah. Have you heard of breakthrough sciences? For well, some of that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Revolutionary ideas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ideas that come from a whole different angle yeah. than what the majority are using yeah, yeah. as the standard. Yeah. Yeah. Is that not how we progress? By people thinking outside of what the masses yeah. think and yeah. thinking differently. But so, so therefore, if you say that you can now not say yeah. all of academics thinking your way, maybe that smaller group of academics yeah. actually may be onto something. But you're, you're dismissing but them. But you're, you're completely different. Thing. Thing. The reason why, even if you come with a breakthrough theory, yeah. there's still a me methodology behind it, uh, which most people who come out with uh, theories is peer reviewed. You understand? Yeah. But so, who controls the peer review? It's, who, it's, who, who's at the head of these establishments that do the peer reviewing? This, 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 is is where you get, this is where you get political history. No, because you're trying to mischaracterise what it is. It's the truth. No, it's, it's the truth. It's, Bro, it's the truth. Because I know what I was taught in school. Okay. Yeah? As fact. Okay. Yeah? I know what I was taught in school as okay. fact. And I know what my own studies have shown me. Yeah. yeah? And you can't tell me that the establishment have any interest in pushing what I now know yeah. as, the, as being the, the mainstream truth. Yeah. They don't. They push a narrow um, narrative that fits but their schools different. That fits their um, agenda. Yeah, yeah. And but, these are the same schools, people schools. at the top that deal with the peer review. That's why it's going yeah, to the curriculum school. on my lap at the desk. School, yeah? school so different from from but university. Let university. me give you an example. If you do a PhD, if you do a PhD, do you know what they tell you? They say find a subject that interests you. Go and research it. Write a paper on it. That's it. They didn't say, okay, you have to take write a paper on this subject and you have to follow these standards. They, that's why when you, you have various levels of academic uh, academia. From school, yes, I can agree with you that sometimes they push you down a very narrow okay. structured thing. Oh, oh, oh. As you go further down the educational okay. system okay. to a PhD. So, so you're getting you, your degree, yeah? Yes. So when you get your degree, yes. uh, you're reading information. Yes. Yeah? Some inf information is um, preferred than others, yeah? Because the information has to, if, it, if what you're reading yes. goes against what you're being taught, then you, you're reading the that's wrong how, That's how you get breakthrough theory. Hear, hear what I'm saying? That's how you get breakthrough when, when theory. You're you're trying to, to, when you're trying to get your degree, you're not going to get a degree like that. You, you're not, it, one second. Okay. You are not, now you're conflating two things. 
Yeah, you're conflating two things. I'm talking about you getting your degree. Yeah, yeah. You don't get your degree by disproving what's in the degree, what what's in the in the syllabus. You don't get a degree by that, if, do you? If, do you? Yes, you can. So you get a degree if, by disproving what you're being taught. If you can factually base what you're a degree is basic. Like most people just like do a degree and kind of just go to agree with whatever's established. But it's, like the people who are actually at the top of their degrees are the people that status challenge the status quo. But they can back their talk, and that's why like you have certain people that will come with the breakthrough theories. You might have um, kids in university coming out with groundbreaking things because they can think outside the box but you just have to back when your they, talk. When you're talking about groundbreaking, are yeah. they disproving theories or are they just going yeah, you into can't, a new realm of... Yeah, you can't just subjectively say, oh, I think because of this. You have to back your talk, you understand? Is, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, are they disproving theories? Yes. Yeah, as in, like, uh, for instance, you go and do, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Science, yeah? yeah, yeah, and then you disprove. Let's the say, fit, yeah, you disprove. Let's say, like, something causes cancer, like, yeah, let, yeah, yeah. You disprove the yeah. whole science yeah, yeah. of the way that the science is moving. Yeah, yeah. you're not going to get a degree in that because what you've done is you've just collapsed the whole subject on on itself. So you're not going to get a degree in it. You may become a leader. You may become a well. What you've done is revolutionize the yeah. way that people think about it. So yeah. it's now become something totally different yeah. because what you believe to be true is no longer true. Yeah. That is different from uh, um, that is different from what I'm trying. To, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I'm not talking about oh, you go in there and you know like you say oh this guy he got that equation wrong and really it's that but you're still staying in line with what the subject is if you go against the subject then you still get a degree in that yeah you can like okay, i say okay. that's why okay. like degrees that like, most people don't and that's why some people can say okay like uh, degrees make people think linear yeah, 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 yeah. because now because so many people go to university it becomes like a a, a, a a factory line where it's like you come in you go along the conveyor belt you don't Pick really think it will yeah. Yeah, yeah but back in the day when less people for example went to university you can spend more time with your lecturer and engage because it's all about critical thinking like how to challenge what has been established because that's how society progresses so that is the underlying like principle so what you're saying is what i'm doing right now is how society <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing wrong with thinking that yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's being able to establish your claims yeah, rather yeah, yeah. than just say but, okay. it, but it's the thing that you the things that you're giving me yeah, yeah, and yeah. taking as established yeah. I have got a problem because in your academic world yeah. that to you is established but in reality it's, it's just not yeah do you know what I mean because at the same time it's always going to be labeled with a theorem or an idea or a notion or rare rare and it's always able to be disproved where it's yeah. not factual but it's like it's, 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 if I, it's uh what do you say um it's lacking imperative evidence yeah. but it's like me saying to you bruh i think the inside of the moon is made of cheese yeah i just think that yeah, yeah, yeah. are you going to be like that's different from, that's different that's that's because that why you're just making a claim i'm not making a claim yeah you got to tell me what you think the moon, moon is made of and Based then on you, evidence and then you have to fact you have to prove it to exactly me, which you won't be able to do but then your position you can't prove you see what i'm saying yeah yeah so therefore even if I think it's made of cheese, yeah, yeah. cool, that might be a ridiculous claim. Yeah. You can't either disprove that it's made of cheese yeah. and you can't prove what it's made of. Yeah. And I would challenge anybody to prove yeah. what the moon is made of. Yeah. So obviously you can't. That's why we can't empirically prove, but we can only only take a, But how much a, a, theories how much theories are based on what the moon is and what we are and what the universe is made of? Yeah, yeah. But we can't exactly. prove it though. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm that's so what I'm trying so to This is why this is why you can be walking down a wrong route with this yeah. because you, you start kneeling, you start standing on things that you think are facts yeah. and you think, okay, this is, my, this, is, this is the surface, this is what I'm standing on, this is what reality is. Yeah. But in fact, it's all theory. Yeah, of course. We, it's that's all why theory. I said we can't empirically prove it, but we can try and take a logical conclusion yeah, as yeah, to yeah, what yeah, is yeah. most likely to have happened. So now that logical conclusion, depending yeah. on who's the driving force of it, can be, uh, can be misdirected, can be coerced, can be contaminated, can be polluted with yeah. somebody's agenda. Yeah, right? of course. Of this course. is the danger. Yeah, and, and that's why I say this is why history in yeah. itself, uh, we take a lot of things. Somebody says, oh yeah, they went and they found the lost city of Alexandra. Yeah. And for four to five years, sorry for me. And for four to five years, um, they didn't release any evidence of what they found there. Yeah. Just fact. Okay. And then they said, oh, we're going to let you lot see what was in the lost city, under, underwater, um, drowned, submerged city of Alexandra. So then they start showing you, oh, look, we found this and we found this artifact. And every, every sculpture that had a face on it had its nose missing. Yeah. And I said, you know what, this is not a natural occurrence. Yeah. yeah? This, is, this, this to me, my instincts are telling me that they're playing with what, they, what they're showing us as reality. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like a lot of what we deal with 
especially at this academic level, yeah. is basically a finely honed, finely tuned net to get people ensnared into thinking in a way that they want us to think. And all the time, all the time, we're looking at these people as, oh, these are the academics, these are the bright minds, and these are the, and it's the wrong type of intelligence because all they do that is, is regurgitating or working under a certain parameter or certain set of laws to govern the way they think. Hence why I'm telling you, you can't prove to me that Jesus existed. You can't prove to me that Jesus was um, crucified. And you're saying, you can, you can, you can. And this is why it's a yeah, ridiculous thing. Can't, you can't that's what history has done Yeah, to you can't empir empirically you prove something. But you, like I say, that's why I say it goes back to what is the most logical or most likeliest thing to have happened. Yeah, that's not good enough to so, raise your soul well, on, Well, bro. obviously we can... Most we, likely... Yeah, we can't... You're not thinking of what's the yeah, most likely. You're thinking about... We, we can't get a time machine and go back to the time. So we can't prove it in that sense. So then that's why we have to... Like, if something happens... Like, in terms of the world or when we watch the news or even if I talk to you about like Mansa Musa or some of these old people, we know the stories. We don't be like, right, I don't believe this guy existed. People will be like, yeah, this is what, one of the great, great black people that ever existed. I don't know. I well, don't know. I mean... I don't know. Well, I don't know. It did me. Like did, I say... Did, did, did Osama Bin Laden exist? Did he exist? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so yes he did. We saw, him, we saw him on the camera. We saw him. So yeah. he existed. Yeah. Where is he now? I don't know. History would say he was killed. Okay. Yeah? Okay. History would say that he lived. Okay. Who's Bill Osmond? Who? Bill Osmond. I don't know. Okay. So we're now talking about the same guy. Okay. Yeah? Known by a different name with a whole different storyline. Okay. You understand what I'm saying to you? But then you've so got who's... the information to know who he is. Just no, I don't. I... I don't. But, but here's if... the thing. I don't. If you ask me who, um, um, do I know if Osama Bin Laden existed, I'd say no. Okay. I have no evidence. I have no proof that this man existed. That's who they say they... Yeah. No, 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 no. no, no. Um, um, oh, I've forgotten his name. Another, another fictitious character. Yeah, John Osman yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? But well, the, that's the, that's what I'm saying. The point is, yeah, when you get a character that's given to you by history, history, you got to understand is is the, is the empire's narrative. Yeah. But that's, that's why all you, it is. But that's, that's why. No, but that's all it is. Yeah, but that's why you have, in terms of historicity, the theory of multiple attestation. The more independent sources you can have about something, yeah, yeah, yeah. the more likely it is to be true. I know. You understand? I know. Because but if it's from one source, of course, same, they're very, it's that, very possible that's that they if, can influence. And at that time, you don't believe in things like, like I said to you earlier, controlled opposition, where I could implant somebody that well, you would you would expect to be saying something totally different but, but this is agreeing with but me. this is all it's a, it's a, it's a known tactic but this is the minds of one second yeah, yeah. it's a known tactic to control the minds of masses yeah yeah oh well well if that's true then if that's true how come there's a white guy bmp how, oh well if we're racist how come we got an asian guy in our ranks it's a easy it's easy but then to who do. was trying to control the masses in terms of the crucifixion the person the person that writes history yeah Th those those that see see fit to perpetuate the story of all religion yeah there is control behind that yeah but that's there what is saying. a desire for if, control if you have it. multiple sources here there and there it's very unlikely especially with the early where Christians, did it start in terms of where them, did it start okay them. if you find the first you find what you got to do is find the first source this is another thing you okay. can't find the first source of the stuff you believe in you what understand you what i'm saying okay who is the first person to document anything to do with what you believe in well, in terms be, of your spirituality it'll, it'll be the gospel okay so be the, gospel. the gospels weren't so we're, dealing what... yeah? Yeah. we're dealing with academics yeah we're dealing with academics yes and then we're going to use these academics to prove an invisible man that created everything okay in terms of the, the, the gospels they were um, written in different locations <laughs> attesting to the same thing there was no one person that controlled the writing how of the do we Bible. know how do we know that these things were written in different locations how do we know factually how do we know that? Well, in terms of we just look what? at the earliest information and we see how they were written, or in terms of like a lot of the manuscripts found in different locations and stuff like that. So is that all again, I've got to do? You, you can't. Is like that all I've got to do? Unless you get things unless, you, unless you get a time machine back to the time. Exactly. That's why I said you I'm cannot. I'm with you. Yeah, you can't impair it. But that's why I say to you, you you have a standard. It's all about faith. So you, so history doesn't actually prove anything. Course, no one has made the claim that said. you can empirically prove you can't history. Prove anything with history. But history it's a waste of time. Can you well, look that's at your soul? You think with your soul? No, no. But what yeah. you're saying is that therefore anything uh, historical is unreliable. Yeah. But then yeah. I'm saying yes. if you take an unless academic, you, unless, if unless you, take you saw an it for yourself, and even if you saw okay. it for yourself, even that's even that's unreliable. So basically, yeah, they're saying you can't believe anything as anything because if people saw something, they could have been deceived. So all you can believe is yourself. 
and even yourself can be deceived. Is that exactly, that's true. So, so I'm then, saying that. So there's no such. So what do you how know? Do, what do you know? How do we? What do you know? How do we, what do you know? How do we establish reality? What do you know? What do you know? No, we got I, different. We yeah. got different methodologies yeah. to establish what is reality. Okay. Yeah. You, For me, your? Um, uh, your your reality is something that you're trying to make rigid and make solid. I, I, I know that reality is flexible. So okay. What but, you deem to be real today is not real tomorrow. Yeah, but yeah? I, I try to take. But it. I'm happy with that. Yeah, you understand. Okay. I, so I don't, I don't feel like I need to have these pillars of oh, the academic. This is what, and this is that, and try me and and believe or and embarrassment, and all these things okay. are telling you how to process information, how okay. to see what is real, how to see what is false. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But you have your own guidance system inside yourself that you should be tuning into. Okay. But you've tuned into yeah. the words of other historians, and now you're sitting on that as that being the, the, yeah. the basis of your. Reality. But, but the thing is, in terms of so like, what I'm saying is empower yourself yeah. by believing what you deem is like you, you can't be programmed to believe in a certain way. Because right, well, you telling... already go against your books by believing in in, in an invisible spiritual um, force okay. that created everything consciously. So you already go against academia. Okay, so in academia yeah. goes towards atheism. Okay. Like when you follow it through, yeah. Mm -hmm. But obviously that, that that's where faith comes in, but that's two different things. Okay. What I'm trying to say is in terms of, um, like for example, the gospel, there's many claims in it. So, like uh, historians, archaeologists, they invest, try and investigate some of the claims. So, for example, um, the, the gospels talk about Pontius Pilate. In 1961, they found uh, a, a plaque with his name on it. Okay. Until then, no one could prove it existed. Again, but that every, have... everything's planted. Everything I'm just plant, asking. Yeah, no, but what bro, I'm bro, saying, bro, bro, if okay, no, if no, no, slow it down, slow it down. Okay. You've made a claim. Right, let me, they found that. if it's, it's carbon dated, carbon and dated. it goes back to that time. Yeah, well, bro, it could bro. be. Carbon but again, dated. How do we logically approach something in terms of when we as, find things? As a historian, as a historian, okay. you understand that carbon dating uh, 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 is problematic at best. Yeah, and and can yield very varying okay. results yeah okay and there's enough information and there's enough yeah. studies to go against the the, the 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 current standard of carbon dating that you could say uh, if you was being intellectually honest do you know what we can't rely on carbon dating to prove anything well i wouldn't say it's uh, non-existent in terms of its re reliability because normally for example carbon dating can be like within a hundred years or so so again like i say if we're sorry approach, if say like the, the time range so if they say uh, they carbon date something. The span is about 100, 150 years. That's not true. So, so what is it? It's about 100, 150 years. They're like, the, so they then they go for the median range of carbon dating something. Okay. So in terms of like, what that's about the I larger? Say, I say that's one end of the spe spectrum. What about the larger disparities then? Because like you saying that okay, it can be accurate. Uh, how how what's the uh, the rate of inaccuracy? Oh, how I, can you I, tell that? I, I don't know what the rate how, of inaccuracy. How can you tell that? But I'm, how would you be able to tell that? Well, again, if you were to look at carbon dating, then you would have to take an academic approach to see like, how many things have they carbon dated? How reliable is it? Can we carbon date something like, let's say this tree? We know, you know tree it's been will... done, right? What? You know it's been done. They've car they carbon date a, li a live tortoise. Okay. Yeah. I'll let, you, I'll let you go and look at it. All I'm okay. saying is, look, all these things that we, 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 we deem to be like cornerstones of reality, like yes, yeah. carbon dating, yeah, this yeah. will help me to tell how old something is. That's okay. all 40, it's all 40. Okay. And when you delve into that even more, then you can see the okay. disparity and the dishonesty that's in that science in itself. Okay. Yeah. But then it's not enough for you to be sure about the age of something. Yeah, bro. but what I'm trying to say is like you, it's like being in a court case. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. have the defense and you have to try and bring as much evidence to support your evidence, yeah, yeah, of your, your position yeah, as possible. Yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't necessarily mean we can conclusively prove something, but based on like that's how we reason and how society progresses. You understand? No, rather no, than no, something no, 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 no. Like, not how society like, like, for example, if, not if, how society if, if, if it's how a secret society yeah, progresses. Yeah, but if, if let's say <laughs> let's say you're walking on walking home, someone like robs you or something, yeah, 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 yeah. and they say you say, right, it's that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. how do you prove how it's you prove that guy? It? Yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. So, so all we so can do he took he took something off me, and I and I can describe what it was he took. Yeah, exactly. And if you find it, then there. But but more often than not. You can't actually prove it. So then it becomes a trial yeah. and a battle between two perspectives and who tells a better story. Yeah. And even then at the end when someone says guilty or not guilty, nobody but those two people yeah, usually know whether justice was served or not. Yeah. Yeah, that's just the truth. Of that's course. It. So, that's yeah. what so we, let's say for example for argument's sake, yeah. Like you if you caught me red handed yeah. on camera and you can prove that that likeness is exactly like me, yeah, yeah, and it, and then you've you've got physical, I would say that's close to physical evidence. You've seen it. If you saw it for yourself, yeah. you can say, I saw it. Yeah. yeah. That's you attesting. I saw it. 
Now you could have been misled in what you saw, okay. fair dues, but at least you can say, yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Not someone said they saw it 2,000 years ago. Yeah. And, the, and, and these other people said, and look, someone, someone, someone in France yeah. said that, yeah, that it was true, yeah. that yeah, he did see it, Paperboy did see it. This is what you're giving me. Oh, someone in, in that other country wrote about it, and oh, in 1997, they even found uh, somebody a writing that was a, that doesn't prove that it happened. Okay. Anybody could have provided that yeah. Pontius Pilate but, little but thing I, that you saw. But that's why I keep the saying Dead Sea you, Scrolls were found where? Um, Quran. Where? Just randomly by who? Uh, some archaeologist. I, it wasn't an archaeologist. This is a great example of crystallized intelligence and fluid intelligence. Yeah. Okay. So you're, you, you're limited by your. You've got cognitive dissonance, you're limited by your ability to okay, think But this is, again, how heavily, do, heavily drilled. But then, in terms of society, in terms of how we progress, like for example, even the sciences, it's built on like accumulation of knowledge. There's a live, there's a live yes. example of everything you talk about in the past right now. Okay. All the sources and real but, events what people but, saw with 9-11. You go check all that. There's a saying. But, all of that but there's a saying. Man. Do you know, but do, do you, there's a saying. Do you know the difference between insanity and a genius? What? Do you know the, dif the differentiation between the two? Is that, is that science no, that no, someone's... No. That si one second. Yes. Is that science that someone's... It's a, it's a saying. Bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is... What's the point it, it, huh? What's the point so the difference between calling someone insane or genius is success. Because if you say, okay, I can jump, I can, I can jump from this tree to that tree, they'll be like, right, this guy's insane. If I do it, they'll be like, this guy's a genius. So it's pr proving your case. That's why it's like... A genius and an insane person, they're basically the so same side. So you're the insane person then. Same side of the... But you're telling me that Jesus exists and you can't no, prove but it. but the thing is, what I'm and saying... And you ain't gonna I show me. Do you see what you said? Exactly what you said. Yeah. Oh, he's insane. Yeah. And then he does something, yeah. and you see for your own eyes, you're like, he's a genius. Yeah. Not, he's insane. And then someone says, well, look, I've got a writing from 2,000 years ago that said that he can jump from tree to tree. And yeah, and someone in France says, yeah, they heard about a guy that can write tree. Yeah, I heard. And, and in 1999, someone found a plaque of the guy that okay. was in the, in the in the park watching someone jump from tree to tree. That's not evidence, bro. You okay. even said it yourself, yeah? By seeing it for yourself, yeah. you can then change your mind and your perspective. But, but even you said you can see something and... Exactly. So, so, so according no, no, to you, there's I, no standard of reality. What did I say? I yeah. said that is a more reliable thing than write, than listening to the attestation okay. of somebody in the past. But then if you that could be manipulated. Would, yeah. If you're just reading it, text, it, it could you, be. Your, your ego, from what you want to find, okay. tells you that you're reading the yeah. thoughts of somebody that existed a long time ago. Okay. But the truth is, it could have been written yesterday. Yes, but then this is why we have some so of the... Uh, we, we, have, we have the fallacy of uh, an argument from ignorance, because you're saying, that's why I say, like, for example, if I can say the inside of the moon is made from cheese, no one can disprove me. I no. could be actually be right. Yeah. How many of you actually think, oh, this I could be right? None of you. But how do you know I'm not right? You understand? We would have to then look That's at the science. same with you telling me yeah. it's made of this but or then, that or whatever. For, for, the me, moon for, is... for me to establish at least some credibility, I would have to bring some form of evidence that may make you to think, okay, this guy has a point. Do you I know what the moon you... is made of? What is it made of? Do you know? No. Uh, I don't know what it's made of. What's the I'm earth made of? What is it made of? I'm asking you, do you know what the earth is made of? Bring me evidence of what the earth is made of, scientifically. Okay. Okay. You can't. And you're here, you've got an opportunity. Okay. The very earth you are standing on, okay. you can't tell me what it's made of. Am so, I right or so, wrong? So if I said the earth is made of cheese? That's it. I, I, I Bring your cheese, innit? That's it. He's now he's asking bring for cheese, evidence. Yeah. That's why but when I said we talk have about it. historicity, you, you have to bring your evidence. But and that's why people are bringing... You're bringing he, the he, he, may, he, he may not like their evidence, but I am bringing... It's not evidence so, from again, us. Okay, if I, say, if I say the centre of the cheese, the uh, earth is made from cheese, aka or the moon or whatever. Bring me some. People want some bring sort of standard of evidence. Let's go. So that's Let's why go when to we, where you saw where, that yes, and show me. But how can you prove it factually? In the same way, history, but then that means I could be right. Do you agree? I have no idea. Do you, I don't, okay, I don't have a Because I'd be right if I say I the entire uh, earth is made of cheese. It'd be, your, it'd be you for you to prove that. It'd be what? Hypothetical. But yeah. could it, I could be right though. You could say whatever, it don't matter. Well, I'm it? saying I could be right. You could and you could tell 20 other people and 50 people might believe that. And then okay. all of a sudden it is made so then, of cheese. To establish truth, we then have to have a, a, a criteria. Yeah, yeah proof. Prove it. That's what, exactly. they're all on that level. Yes. But you're not doing yes. that. So then that's why when I talk about the historicity of Jesus, you have four main things. But there's no proof. If you look for commonalities in terms of history, in terms of when stories have been... How many times, how many times have been rewritten? 
have, have, has what been into it. All the sources you're talking about. No, but about. they're independent. Yeah, but they're independent sources. Well, who says who, they who are? Who says they're independent? Who, who claim they're independent? Again, this is like we're going to. No one's independent. Yeah, but this, the thing is, when you go into like arguments of ignorance, it's like how can you prove it? How can you be sure? How, that's why I go to the cheese example because that's the very like they, the favorite they, example. They call it arguments of ignorance, and the joke, the, the joke is. It's actually the argument of the enlightened. Yeah. That's the funny thing. You <laughs> okay. coined it, yeah. but what it does is what they're telling you, that's the argument of ignorance here. Yeah? That is our barrier of cognitive dissonance here, yeah? well, and we don't approach it because it's just yeah. ignorant. It's what, what he's trying really to say is thinking outside the box is cognitive. I'm not disagreeing you. you yeah, are you thinking outside the box? I'm saying you can think are out, you thinking outside I'm the saying, box? I, I said to you, like, like in university, you can think outside the box, you just have to back your talk. Yeah. That's it. Okay. I like that. There's, no thing, I like that. Look, there's I nothing wrong that. with coming with a different, because that's how like, you know, some of the, like even if you look at technologies, your like Amazons or your Facebooks or whatever, these guys were like, maybe in school, they were thought of- Do you know a lot of archeologists? Not personally. No. So you never will get first hand uh, uh, a chance to see any of these artifacts that they dig up before it's dug up. Well, <laughs> you were never really going to get that chance. No, you don't find that strange. Well, if you wanted to, I'm sure you can contact people. You're a historian. You should have an interest in that to see these places that they say they find these things that cement what you believe to be true. Because oh, all I, it has to be is written in the paper that um, Mr. Flatcap and Mr. Blue Jacket and Mr. Mr. Yeah. Dreadlocks have all in their lab backed by the Institute of blah 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 you'd read it in a paper 10 years time and you'd be like yeah yeah that's true yeah okay yeah yeah certified yeah, but, peer, peer review but, the, yeah, yeah, but cool. the thing is what he's saying for example to we, control your reality yeah. of the of the world but you can't even prove to me but give an analogy about the sun and the moon and what the moon's made of you can't even tell me what the earth is made of okay so in terms of somebody bring me some magma from this core <laughs> from this core of ours bring me some magma let me get some magma on okay. this core what's the deepest hole that we've ever drilled in the earth Okay. And can you substantiate that, that they actually did that? What do you know about reality? This is what I'm trying to... Yeah. So like, we're, we're having a meeting in our minds, yeah? Yeah, yeah? What we're trying to say is, yeah. to stand on, to go and get a degree yeah. in history has definitely already shaped your mind to perceive things. I don't have a degree in history, by You way. don't? I was you, was you front in? I what did you got, I did. What did you have? What you got a degree in? Um, business and... and they, um, I've been calling you a historian the whole time. Yeah, I don't know why you've been calling me that. I, that's why oh, I had to make it clear. Oh, hey. my bad. Okay, cool, yeah, cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. I'm not a historian. Yeah. Okay, cool. I, I just cool. like, uh, obviously, you were like. Every I, I said I take back. Okay. Yeah, that's why, like, when I. That's the, that's the approach that I take. See that? It's so easy. Yeah. yeah. So I don't, it doesn't, it doesn't you, define me. But then hold on, he's that's made a presumption. I, no, but you know why? Why? Because I asked you, you're going to see. I didn't say I. I, yeah, I said, give me a thumbs up, you was talking. Yeah, I said, you, have you got, a, you got a degree? You said, yeah, I, yeah, said, a degree, I bet yeah, it's in exactly. history. And then you, I said, is it in history? And you said, no, I'm talking. I said, what, well, you can't multitask. You can't talk and give me a thumbs up. Yeah. And you, and you gave me a thumbs up. You said that I had, so a, I thought, you said I thought the degree. And I, I said, thought yes. the thumbs up was for a degree in history. No, no, no. Sorry. See, so that's whole why time, I'm saying, you I've have been to take saying, an academic approach. Yeah, 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 yeah okay. <laughs> that, the whole time I've been saying blah, 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 thinking. You see, that you're primary source in memory. Huh? Yeah, yeah. In that translation of primary source. Right there on the spot. Right Didn't right even there. need someone 2,000 years ago right. to interpret it. Right See how wrong. easy all it is. All that went wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Exactly. Woo! But then that's why. Yeah. Yeah. I like this okay. I like this But this is why you have to have multiple sources. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, it's very unlikely. Yes, see? We all okay. missed. No, no, no. You weren't there. You weren't there before. So you lied. You were talking about. Yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> but you weren't there. But, but I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, yeah. There was somebody else there that did think the same as me. Who was that? Some another guy because well, we were talking about. Oh, bring your evidence. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I like this case. I like this. Like this. But, let me bring my evidence. <laughs> but anyway, just to conclude, like obviously, it depends on what kind of approach you take to to kind of history. Do you take a methodological approach? Because in terms of logic and society, that's all we can do. Some people will think that, you know, uh, every every information is subjective, but then you cannot establish a certain truth. For example, I've seen over there, it's like, if you can make good spaghetti, he can make good spaghetti, so can he, so can he. Everyone's gonna say they make the best spaghetti. How do we assess which one is the best spaghetti? Because everyone has their own opinion. Why does it matter? So whoever why does it matter? Part? Well, in terms of establishing a standard, it should matter. Well, why does that matter? Establishing standards. Yeah. Why? Because that's how society progresses. For example, well, in science, well, that's a framework that society in terms of, on you. Yeah, but yeah. in terms of, in terms of, oh, in terms of science, good about it. Reset. If, if you use a mobile phone, that's the, the, the science behind that has developed over time and time. So people would go, let's say, to the previous person, rather than saying, I don't trust these people. 
let me try and redefine science from the beginning. We kind of take peer-reviewed work, we look at it and try and expand on it. That's how society progresses. You know, that's why we now live in the information age, we have cameras and whatnot. People don't say, actually, I, I'm going to disregard all the previous work on... Oh, hang on, people do. Yeah. Not creationists or... You know, yeah, but in fact, people here denying the yeah. reality of other people's experiences. But this place is full of them. Yeah, but we're... But religion's like the spaghetti, right? Yeah, all the different religions are the different spaghetti. So yeah. Someone spaghetti, said mine's yeah. the best, someone said it's the best, yeah. and we all believe they're the best, but they're not. Obviously, religion, like invisible spaghetti. religion in a sense is faith based, right? But we're, I mean, talk, I mean, we're talking about, about we're, we were talking <laughs> yeah. about the crucifixion of Jesus I know, but and establishing that. Like, I've got a version, he's got a version, yeah. and mine's back, his is back, but yeah. now I'm the best, he's the best, we're going in different ways, and it yeah. perpetuates. Respect each other's. Yeah, but yeah. no, but all I'm saying is then how do we establish like some a criteria? Why do we need to? Yeah, this is the thing. Because like, when we say we yeah. establish, who's we? Because usually the minority of, yeah. of that we never get a look in. Yeah. So it's not ever really we. Yeah, it's yeah. always the big I am, the 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 the, the, the one with the loudest voice. Come on. Yeah. That's all it is. Well, in terms of uh, establishing the standards, because then it helps people progress. So like, and it helps disprove like, other things like, that could be reality. Like, That's the thing. Hang on, it helps people progress. Is progression good? Into it, where? It, it, it depends on what's, what the direction. Well, it depends me, if it's yeah. a moral thing let me or give you a scientific a, let me, thing. Let me give you an example. Yeah. Do you think that the Europeans invading America, the Americas, that was progression yeah. from a European point of view? Yeah. yeah. From the point of view of the indigenous peoples there that, who are living but, in harmony with but, their um, environment, do you think that yeah, was that that's, was progression? That's, that's, a mor that's a moral thing, and I would kind of ah, put that to the side. It's a physical yeah. reality of yeah, it. Yeah, but as well. because I can argue if the people themselves didn't want to be invaded, okay, then okay. it's a moral point. Okay, okay, because okay. if they think they're doing something always, on behalf it, of, but it always goes to moral. If, if you have self, if you have self determination, then people should have the right to self determination. So it depends on what kind of moral. It always ends up in a moral. Exactly. That's why I say. Ends up. Yeah. With and morals, always. But in terms of science, always ends up in morals. Is, is a different aspect. It's always about in morals. In terms of imposing a view on science, someone, abortion, yeah, uh, stem cell research, yeah. this, that, detection of this, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. This, it all have moral implications yeah. that you may choose to ignore, okay. but they exist. But for example, if you have a headache or something, or you're ill, yeah. and someone says, "How many puppies have to die for me to take yeah. that tablet?" But, yeah. Yeah. but this is, a, but he's still going to take it. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. it progression though? <laughs> but are because, you take it? I, me as a being, yes. one second, me as a being, I'm now sanctioning the murder of an animal just for me to get over something that if I looked in nature, yeah. I could cure for myself. That's or, progression. Or, or, or just relax and have a, uh, okay. a glass of water but and, but and thing. chill out for a bit. It'll go away by itself. Cancer is rife now. People have chemotherapy. Are you going to be? Like, I don't, uh, I don't trust the yep. MRI. Okay. Exactly that. That wasn't a good road to go. That's that's right. Right. No, but in terms of especially if you, as they're causing the okay, cancer. Do you ever take aspirin? Yeah. No. Do you ever take aspirin? I'm taking an aspirin for 30 years. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Old school, man. I, I'm, oh I'm talking to a conspiracist right now. Conspiracist? I see drugs. Interesting judgment. Wow. Someone's going to be defensive. No, no, no. I'm listening. Hey, man. Say you don't take aspirins and add hominy. Let me tell you something. This is safe. You're out. Everyone's safe. You're friends. You like to have to have subjective opinions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
for years I was like, oh yeah, bloody Irish. And I, I, I said, actually, I know a couple of Irish, they're all right. Yeah, they're right yeah. And I said to him, I said, why, why do you think, and it's because in when he was growing yeah. up, there were lots of bombs by the IRA yeah, and, yeah, and that yeah, was all yeah, going. Yeah. And he's like, oh, bloody Irish. Yeah. And I said to him, I said, do you, have you ever met any Irish people? He said, yeah, yeah, he's worked with you. I said, what are they like? So I know really good guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's got it imprinted on his yeah. brain. He does the same with, he's, oh yeah, he's a bloody Jew. But then that, that would go to the theory of multiple attestation, because then you would ask different people who would give you different viewpoints, and then you actually... But why would their viewpoints be any more or, valid than no, yours? No, but I'm just saying in terms of if you had met someone okay, yourself, yeah, yeah, you understand, yeah, yeah. then you would hear... But people like, do that with Muslims, people do that yeah, with black people. people. Yeah, people that, get stereotypes yeah. from one point of view. But if you actually... You know, there's, there's loads of people, you know, there's a lot of people that have never met somebody like you, but has so much opinions yeah, about you yeah. and your lifestyle and yeah. what you are and your heritage. Yeah. So, I mean, this is obviously not yeah. something that we encourage, is it? Yeah, of I course, mean, of course. Like, that's like, why, that's yet why it's again, to get your yet again, we're back to first hand information, first hand evidence, yeah. 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 In, but, imperative yeah. evidence. That's what we need. In light of that, then we have to go to the next best thing. Because if we no. can't take a time machine, no, 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 yeah, if we can't, no, no. because it's a pro it's a process. Step one, step two, step three. If we can't actually test it or go back into the past ourselves, then the next thing is we have to rely on the earlier sources. Whether you want to say are they reliable or not, but instead so, of everything, so I'm just stay. So, so yeah. what you said was we have to rely on. Well, you don't have to. If you don't want to. This is the point. Yeah. So but, so you can see that that's what history is telling us. Yeah. So history is written by the vectors. Yeah. You know, you hear about the British Empire. Yeah. It's like oh yeah, yeah we do. You know what a load of atrocities were you know were actioned there so what we actually rely on yeah. is is not the full picture yeah. and we will never know if it is the yeah full but that's picture. why i say multiple sources because if your enemy but just says something like if you if you say you're the victor yeah and you rose tint whatever happens but if you're like your opponent you're is not more, no, but, that agrees with you, but that then it's be, more likely no, 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 to be true no, rather than... Because no, they, they will give no, you a counter no, opinion. No, no, why, no, what but why does it happen? You're does assuming it? they would. They, it, they could be honest. They could. They could be honest. But we're talking about in terms of they like, could be honest. likelihood. For example, if you, you've got your close friends, if they tell you something, you're most likely to all be right, like... Alright, okay, alright. Exactly. Here's a good example. Yeah. Uh, as, a, as a person of, um, I'm assuming, African descent, yeah, just an assumption, yeah? Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if your family or your lineage was directly involved or affected by uh, the transatlantic slave trade. Can you give me your, was it? No, no, okay. Can you give me your opinion on whether you think it was a good thing? Uh, no. Okay. Do you, are you aware of people, black people, African people that believe it was a good thing? Personally, not. Not personally. I am. Okay. So, 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 it's a good thing. Yeah. So, so what we have here now is we have uh, something that we can all subjectively say was a bad thing. Okay. Slavery was a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah. So why? So then, if you've got a white guy saying, "Oh well, you know, it was a good thing," and you know, we saved these niggas. You know, we saved. <laughs> these, we gave them the Bible, and we saved them, and we scrubbed them up, and we gave them some destiny, and da 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 da. da. And then you've got another black man saying, well, do you know what? If it wasn't for uh, slavery, uh, my people would have been introduced to the Bible, so it was a good thing. Okay. So they're now both corroborate, corroborate the same thing. Yeah. Are you now going to see that and be like, oh, look, you've got, you've got uh, 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 the, the oppressor and the oppressed both saying the same thing, so okay. clearly it must have been a good thing. Yeah, but I've, it doesn't in, work in like terms that. of people like saying that about you know the Bible, saying? like something good can come from something bad, but it doesn't mean so. the thing itself was like has to be justified. For example, well, even what I'm like, saying like, is you're going like, against what example, you said. Even though. like the Stephen Lawrence thing, yeah, yeah. his murder was not a good thing. Okay. But you know when you had the reports afterwards bullshit, in terms like of exposing shit. like did nothing, it, did nothing, no, no, but I didn't say like shit did nothing. I didn't say bag of shit did nothing. It depends. You have to prove that it did otherwise because I could give you a list of. All the other people that died yeah, yeah. from the same type of scenarios. Yeah. It's not. It's not changed anything. The McPherson report ain't done shit. Yeah. Okay. They've made her, his mama baron. Yeah. So now she's rubbing shoulders with them, collecting all the money. But like, what, what, what's happening? Well, I, I think his mum's trying to make a difference. How so do you if, know that? If, if, How so do you know that? What have you? Well, do you know her? Well, if you're, if, if <laughs> do you know her? If you're, if you're, <laughs> don't make sweet no, no, like that, if, if you're, I would. If you're trying to, I say, know people that say the opposite. That work in in the same uh, realms, work um, for the same courses, yeah. and they say the opposite of Stephen Lawrence's mum. Sorry, I'm not trying to slander anyone. I'm just saying this is truth. This is fact. 
I know people that well, say it's that, their, that's their opinion. Their opinion, yeah. exactly. Sure. No, what I mean, it's fact that they have this opinion. Sure. Okay. You know and they're I mean? closer to so, her. So, and they're people that know her. Okay. So you're someone that don't know but, her, and you've got an it's opinion. So easy. What's it based on? But it's yeah. so easy for you, because I, I would agree with you, but I don't know as much as you know. Yeah. To have to have that experience and yeah. to hear those things and go, something good has come yeah. out of it. Yeah. And yet, all it is is a bunch of shades of grey. Yeah, yeah. Because there is good, there is yeah, bad, yeah. but good and bad in themselves yeah. are just judgments. But the thing is, because because he does his gang stuff, right? Is a, gang, is a gang No, 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 no gang member. Well, but I was a stranger to you. I was trying to blend in. I didn't know you know. <laughs> this guy. Hey, paper boy, man. <laughs> anyway, so He's for example, box. like he works, goes into like communities and whatnot. And sometimes in communities, like pe pe people will support something in like spirit. But if something happens to their children, then they're involved. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. The bad thing triggered the good thing that they'll actually now start getting involved. It's like the means of the end. So yeah, what, exactly. You're saying this is Christianity then, yeah? Christianity well, and slavery. Have, no, but I just, I just said in terms of slavery was a bad thing out, that triggered the good thing, can, thing, which is Christianity. Yeah. Good things can come out of something bad, but it doesn't sure. necessarily justify no, no, sure, the bad no, no, things no. happening. You understand? Yeah, so yeah. they're two just, different just things. Just to clarify, yeah, yeah. slavery was the bad thing that triggered the good thing, which is Christianity. Well, obviously, yeah, I, I think, as, yeah, be, in me, Africa. Yeah, me being a Christian, I would have to take that point of view, like in terms of Christianity being spread. I wouldn't say uh, slavery was justified to spread Christianity. It's a different thing. But I can say from something negative, so, something so, positive came out. I've got a question for you. I don't agree, have, but. Have you got, do you know people of your. Uh, from, where are you from? I mean, I'm not. I'm, well, that's not important. Wherever you're from, yeah. and your peers, yeah. do you know... From England. Okay, well, but, I mean, historic, I don't know, you said it's from Africa, I don't know. <laughs> he said he was a... That, that, I asked him if he had African heritage. Don't, 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 don't okay. I'm British. Right, yeah? so have you, you got... Have you have you got... <laughs> you, you do, you do, still, yeah, I've yeah. my life. You I do, British. I'm British. So, yeah. have you got peers who are not Christian? Yeah. Do you think that their quality of life is better or worse than yours? Uh, in terms of... In terms of however you want to frame it? That's a very difficult question to answer. In terms of like materialism, they can just be as well as me. But in terms of like spiritually within themselves, I cannot like know how someone is within themselves. I know like for me, I'm in a very content place in terms of if I go through hardships or whatever, I know my spirituality is sound. But I can't speak for other people because you don't know what people do behind closed doors. Okay. You understand so, or how so, they feel. So, what, so, so I'll give you one, one framework for it. Yeah, yeah. Happiness. Yes. On a scale of 1 to 10, how happy would you say you are? 20. That wasn't the frame I was giving you, but, uh, but you're out to do that. Eight. On a scale of 1 to 10, yeah. your close friends and peers, yeah. what would you say they were? Uh, I'd probably say they but appear to be like 7, About eight. the same as you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, by your own definition, yeah. you're, and, and we're, so I'm just giving it happiness, you being a Christian, as yeah. opposed to them not being a Christian, yeah. doesn't, seem to doesn't affect actually happiness. make any difference. Yeah. So, so the very thing that slavery has given, which is something that you obviously value for yourself, yeah. you've got no way of comparing well, with, with if you had not well, found Christianity, yeah. and if you were not a Christian. You well, would just be some bloke who may be an atheist, yeah. well, who I, would then be maybe just as happy. I, I would yeah. disagree with that, because for example, if you look at things like Pew, Pew Research, in terms of people who are religious, yeah. actively religious, compared to atheists, yeah. atheists suffer Highly what, rates of sorry, depression. What research? Pew, Pew research. Or like it, they do like religious um, like surveys and stuff like that. So people who are generally no, people who are generally more religious suffer less uh, rates of suicide and depression. You understand? Because the thing is, like religious people, because they believe in a God that will get them through that situation. Like they say, a man can go through anything as long as he has hope. Right. So, so oh, wait, 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 let me just, wait, let me wait, just wait, finish. Wait, wait, no, it's a hope that kills you. No, 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 wait, 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 no, no, boy, wait. Let me just finish my point. Let me just finish my point. If you look at the statistics of atheists, yeah. atheists suffer higher rates of depression and higher rates of suicide. How do we know this? How do we know this? How do we know this? Compared to people that no, 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 are no, no, no. Wait, 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 one second. Data. How? Yeah, exactly. Data. Bro, no, no, there's a lot of research Give me out this there, data. Give, it, give me this data and prove to me how they can know that this person is yeah. an atheist. How do you know this person is an atheist? How do you know what this person's belief is? Because of, because of a box they tick. So they tick the box. Are you depressed? Yes. Are you an atheist? <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Is that what you're saying? Because you can have psychological studies from people who are actually psychologists and you can inter engage with like... You're getting very general. Murky. This is so murky. Yeah, yeah what well, no, no, The reason why... because it's not factual. I, because I'm saying to you... Academic... This is no, no, academia allows you, to, you if you, to deal with like, more fairy tales in terms of the, than like, somebody like myself. research is a very good source. So, of, in pure, terms pure of, so let me tell you... Let me say what's happening here. So he's after some specific data. There's no What you have is you don't have that data. And that's not by hand. 
that's, that's why, for I, sure. said, that's why no, I said the pure no, research. That doesn't make you yeah, a bad yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. Still, you seem like a really good guy. So that's not terrible. Yeah, yeah. But all you need to just go, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Rather than get general, because when, when I ask someone a specific question yeah, yeah. and they get all general on me, I'm like, yeah, yeah but that's why I said that pew, pew, I gave you that organization, that one of the yeah, key yeah. institutions. I can't say it was like David what Brown who did this <laughs> article, no, no, no. but I just like know in general the gener genericity yeah, yeah. of it. Yeah. So, but, but there is a common trend between atheists and they, they, they like people who do studies on happiness and whatnot. So, so what about... Uh, because they, they call... Are you, are you they call Catholic, they, Catholic or Christian? Yeah, not Catholic. Just, okay. Yeah, so like for example, they call religion, for example, the opium of the people. Because it, it, it gives people like a higher sense of happiness because they believe in a higher purpose, a higher... Um, like in terms of God, and it, there's we have, like, not, we, have, of, we have a yearning for that, yeah, because that's why they were pagan gods, that's why they yeah. were. We've yeah. always been looking for gods, that's yeah. why I support God because Cause you it, need something bigger than yeah. yourself, right? That, and that's that's why, like, for example, the difference between an atheist and a, a religious person when they go through hardship, they'll get on their knees and pray to God, whereas uh, an atheist might have no like no, nothing to turn to, they might turn to a drink or whatever. That's their only solution of term, in terms of trying to deal with a situation that is beyond their kind of capabilities but whereas the person places their faith and it's as, as bleak as the situation is because it's like a mindset as well you understand so it puts them in a mind frame that god is going to get them through this certain situation and that's why i'm kind of because if i don't believe in anything i can't turn to my family or no one can help me and i'm an atheist what do i turn to i turn to depression or end up jumping off a building but I, if Look, you got some real <laughs> polarised thinking there, my friend. No, no, but, uh, but this um, correlates with the, the statistic that um, there's highest depression rates and suicide rates among atheists. And it, like, you can go and research. Like, Pew Research is a very good website because they do a lot of religious studies. And it's not like a Christian website, like a, a Christian organisation or, or anything like that. It's just like an okay. independent... So I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. And, I, and actually, I don't expect you to give me a definitive answer, but... I'm not going to disagree with you because I think that 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 is probably because I think we are all craving yeah. something bigger than ourselves. Yeah. And I thought there's a bloke up there looking after us and loving us. Yeah. Wow, that would be lovely to think that. Yeah, yeah. However, that, that's religion, and yeah, yeah. I think it does a lot of good. How many people have died for religion and because of religious conflict in the history of the planet? Okay, this is my question. In, so, in terms of the people you're saving from yeah. depression and suicide, and the people who are being abused and victimized and hurt. Yeah. Because they don't suffer the same religion as, as you, not you. Yeah, yeah. Right, that's in that peer review, yeah, 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 was it people that were Christians or any belief, any faith? Yeah, most, uh, most faiths. So, so, was Satanism, religion, was said, Satanism, said, was Satanism, <laughs> was Satanism <laughs> included in that study? No, it's definitely like the main three. Like Abrahamic faith. Yeah, but then, we, then you have a lot of. Uh, so what you're saying no, is, wait, wait, one second, what you're saying is, no, the, 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 the data says. Data says that you can believe in any one of the three Abrahamic faiths, and your uh, your uh, quality of life will improve. Well, yeah. First yeah. of all, like in terms of religious beliefs, that's why, like, the chances of suicide will decrease. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.